Hey everyone and welcome to Let's Play Fan Service Minis. This is household number one. And in case you didn't see over on the side, we have Judy and Ruby. That is the um, the option that was voted for and it actually won by quite a landslide. So we're going to go ahead and hopefully have some fun with this. I just realized that there is a balcony here which the Sims can't actually get to. We have a little bit of money. Let's just put a door in there. Let's just go right into build mode. Don't even take a beat. Okay. Go away. Bugger off. Thank you. What kind of door can we give them? Just something... Something simple. Something inexpensive. So I guess we should just go to the cheapest doors. Yes, the inside of this uh, this house has some, some major ugliness going on. Um, this is Rhapsody in Blue. We are in Bridgeport. Yeah, helps if we look at the city. Yes, we are in Bridgeport. And I haven't played a, an LP here, so I thought, well, it'd be fun. We're going to give this a shot. And okay, basically what you have is a one-bedroom home. And they've got this sort of minuscule little living area here and uh basically yeah i keep saying basically then they have their sort of mini kitchen and i'd like to get them a food processor so i'm gonna have to put another counter down somewhere and i put down the curtains just to i, I prefer to have curtains in the household it makes it seem more cohesive so okay without any further ado this uh if you're not familiar with my runaway teen series this is ruby and she was actually um, she, she woke up on the side of the road, um, like as, basically, yeah, she woke up on the side of the road and this woman here, Judy Gidry, who is from my, um, asylum, my original asylum and also the mega asylum challenges are, Judy pretty much found Ruby and Ruby has no memory of who she is and she's very lost and confused so Judy has agreed to help with her finding her um, finding her family and finding out who she is because Ruby is desperately lonely she feels she feels like something is off and like she's missing something then you have Judy who is pretty much on the lam she worked for a uh, she was basically the personal assistant to the CFO at a very large corporation, like a very large corporation. And late in the game, she discovered that they were, um, they were committing, uh, they were basically embezzling. And, uh, actually, let me check really quickly while I'm talking. Her boss was, was committing quite the crime. Really, really, really some nefarious things. And so she decided to, um, basically she decided to take off before too much heat got on her. And she had heard about people in the company being investigated. So she was like, okay, I'm just going to go on the limb. I'm going to get out of here. So she dyed her hair and she, um, she moved to Bridgeport. She took whatever money she had left, left, purchased this property and everything seems to be okay so far, but it, the house actually isn't in the um, in her regular name. Now Judy is actually a talented musician. You'll see in um, you'll see in the Mega Asylum Challenge and Asylum Challenge that she has a wish to be an athlete. But before she had gone into the uh, the treatment facility, her real goal was to be a vocalist and since i haven't done any of the showtime careers um she's going to do one so we're gonna go get her a job with one of the proprietors and i'm gonna guess there must be one around here um let's see where's the the what's it where's the what's it ah oh, i'm looking for the theater Join music career, all these classes. No, we don't want that. Nope, I lied. Um, no, I don't know if we have any actual show venues. Let's see. 
the grind isn't open. So we might have to go later in the day when one of these clubs is available. Otherwise, I'll have to see if we can get... You know what? I bet you we can go to the library and get online. They don't have a computer yet. Judy is actually um, very pragmatic. So she's going to go ahead to the library and then her next goal is to maybe start looking into things with um, basically try to find out some more stuff about Ruby. Actually, we're just going to let her work out. Now this <coughs> excuse me this is Sid Gidry. He's named after my dog because Judy is actually made to look like me and um, I wanted a dog because I, I just did and so I made this dog to look like my dog because I love Pomeranians. All right, so we're gonna head on over here and put her in. There we go. We're gonna have her use the computers, if I can remember. They're right there. You uh, use. Now, I mean, at this point, she's not going to want to uh, do any sort of find a profession. She's not gonna want to do anything in terms of finding a. a boyfriend or anything like that unless she comes across someone whom she you know with whom she has a natural attraction she's not terribly interested in creating um, let's guard architectural designer investigator daycare go somewhere okay um available jobs let's check can we check twice let's try this again it might just be those ones available on the day. <sighs> yeah, I don't think. Okay, we'll have to check again. That, or I, either that or we'll have to send her to the club later in order to make it possible. Um, so I think the best thing we can do is... Are there any clubs open right now? Any whatsoever? Why don't you go to Wayland's Haunt? We'll just see if we can find you some work anywhere. Now, Ruby has school. Even though Judy isn't positive what's going on or if Ruby is running away from any abuse or anything like that, she desperately wants to make sure that Ruby lives up to her potential because Ruby is actually a, a really brilliant, intelligent, and uh, driven girl, essentially. So that's the goal here. Uh, Judy ha is paying for... Ruby's education on the contingency that she actually works at it and um, and does well. Obviously, she's still going to support Ruby, but uh, like you know, Ruby will have to get a part-time job in the event that she actually doesn't really take care of things. Um, one thing I do want to do with Mr. Sid is we're gonna teach him. Actually, you know what? To be perfectly honest, why don't you? Teach him hunting. Not sit. Train to hunt. Go ahead and do that, please. You've gotten a nice workout. You're going to be stinky, so you may as well deal with the doggy anyway. We are at Wayland's Haunt. Does this have a VIP area as well? I don't know. Does it? Now, where? Anymore, there are usually proprietors. I might have to put down. Um, that's the mixologist. That doesn't help anything. Thank you for not being helpful, sir. I guess I'm just being a little passive aggressive. Oh, that was my phone. I apologize. Okay, I probably have to put down Mixmaster Karaoke or Karaoke. However you want to say it. Let's take a peek really quickly to see whether or not it was put down. I don't think it was. Um... Yeah, boy. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. The Brightmore. Visit the Brightmore. You know what? We might be able to find something there. Full disclosure, I am beyond exhausted. I cannot express to you how tired I am. Oh, and another thing, as I promised, this will be a half hour episode. The reason that, um, that it took so long for me to get this up is just that I have been uh, been very tired and not feeling all that well. So I figured it was better that I get to a place where I felt comfor comfortable recording rather than rush it. 
So this is going to be a double episode, half an hour, and we're going to see if we can get Judy a job. That would be snazzy. Or we can go swimming in that green water. Let's go get in there. Oh yay, Sid learned to haunt. So why don't you go do that? <laughs> Actually, we'll keep working with him. Um, well, no. Okay. Why don't you go sniff out a collectible? We'll go check up on Judy. And Judy really wants to, even though she's she's in a situation that's not optimal in terms of being a good example, she very, very desperately wants to, um, excuse me, I have the hiccups. Mm. Okay. She very desperately wants to essentially just show the, uh, show Ruby that despite any sort of disparity or disadvantage or pain in their lives, that they can, they can just grow. They can be a team and if, uh, she's told Ruby that if, even if Ruby never figures out where she belongs or doesn't want to go back to where she was, at the end of the day, Ruby, or, uh, excuse me, at the end of the day, Judy is going to take care of her and make her, or make Ruby a part of her life. I'm going to have to get to, used to saying Ruby and Judy. I will. Come on, puppy, go find something so we can sell it. Yay, you're awesome. She wants to guard the home, find a gem. I am recording this with my new mic, so hopefully it's not a little weird. Um, I haven't got it fully set up yet, so I'm actually doing it with uh, the USB, but it's still more reliable, so hopefully I'm not jinxing myself right there. <sighs> okay. we Yay. Okay. Let's head on back. We've got Judy working on her dancing. She may as well build her dancing skill because I don't know if that passively affects when she's going to be on stage, but I think it helps. Um, and there will be venues where she can perform in that career. I'm pretty sure you don't have to exclusively live in Starlight Shores. Oh, you're such a good girl, Ruby. And then once you've done that, uh -huh. she's got her, uh, her room. Actually, what I'm thinking eventually is that this part here will build out into a, um, into a much larger space and this will become Ruby's room and this will become Judy's room. So hopefully we can get together enough money for that, but, um, yeah, we're definitely going to have to get her a career in music because these, this, the Showtime careers... It's funny, but they can actually become very, very lucrative pretty quickly. They're almost, they're almost a little OP, to be perfectly honest. All right, she wants to feed or, uh, fill the bowl, but that's not going to happen. So let's go ahead and make sure that Judy isn't going to like die or pee herself or anything like that. Yay, Sid! If I keep saying Sid, though, it's going to confuse my dog. He'll be so confused. Right now, he's got the itis because he ate a very large meal earlier. There must be a place to... Yeah, I think we're just going to have to put down Mixed Master. Unless... I know that a lot of towns after Showtime ended up with... Oh, I'm sorry. That was my phone. Um, ended up with having Mixed Master put into the town automatically. Oh, okay. There it goes. All right, Sid needs to head home. What's wrong? He's got training fatigue, so he's going to come home. He's going to get warm and dry, and he's going to snuggle a little bit. And that was my phone as well. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, one second. I need to pause my game, and I need to answer a text. So, alright, apparently Judy was trying to sneak in past the, uh, the b uh, bouncer, excuse me, and that's not going well. She just got rejected by a bouncer, and she's sad about it. 
Um, Ruby is very, very hungry and stressed. So did you complete your homework? It's 55% done. We're going to have to have Judy. Okay, Judy, stop it. We're going to have to have Judy come on home and we'll see ah, if we can help. <laughs> She's like, yay, puppy. We'll have to see if Judy can help and uh, teach Ruby a better way to do homework. But I think basically we're just going to have to maybe have them both go to the library every day. And maybe that will work so that they can work on it together. Plus, Judy is going to want to do as much research as, as is conceivable. All right, Ruby, don't let me down. Clean it up. You're such a good girl. Now, because of the experiences in Ruby's life, and I won't spoil anything that happens in the series, her <laughs> traits are a little bit different here than they are in the series. And that, uh, that comes from, you know, she's just a very adaptable individual. So if you end up watching the Runaway Teen series, there's a reason for that. Actually, also, if you see this and you're thinking, oh, I'll watch the Runaway Teen series, what I'm going to tell you is this. I'm going to move my hair for a second. Mm. Yes, what I have to um, elucidate is that um, some of you will find the first episode like a, a little wordy in the beginning. Back when I made that challenge, which was, I believe, in, in June, I wasn't super comfortable with the format of how to do the challenges and make sure everything was adequately explained and all of that. So my my feelings on the matter were, were are basically that I that I got through it the right way, but unfortunately, it's you know it was the right way for me and not necessarily for everyone else. So there was a lot of exposition with not a lot of gameplay going on. The first six minutes were in fact a cast video. Then there was a one minute long, um, yeah, a one minute long uh, Machinima at the beginning. It's the intro. And then, or, uh, Machinima. And then after that, it was like about 10 minutes of explanation because I wanted to be very clear. I've, uh, I've since streamlined the process of doing challenges and you'll see with the Mega Asylum, Mega Asylum challenge with Judy that it's actually a lot quicker, a lot clearer. I kind of hate that they throw food on the floor for them. It's really actually kind of irresponsible, but I am an animal person. I don't know if you're aware of this. Now, Judy, you don't have a job right now, so you can go ahead and clean this up. Please and thank you. <laughs> Basically, you know, when she worked in her, her sort of high-powered corporate position, she liked to wear heels and dresses and, and all of those things, but her her mindset in this matter is that she she wants to try to blend in well not blend in she wants to look as differently as possible and it seems counterintuitive that becoming a vocal star would actually help anything but ultimately in her opinion she she feels like it's a it's a dream of hers she's not going to be satisfied if she doesn't complete it and that's the uh that's the end all be all of it she wants to do this. She was not guilty um, or complicit in any of the actions. So that's that's pretty much it. Like, <laughs> I'm having so much trouble thinking. I'm so sorry. The, the reason I'm recording this right now is because I know I'm pretty late on doing it and I wanted to put it out for you all. I'm pretty excited about doing this. And remember, this is going to be a four series or a four episode series arc. This episode is going to be roughly 30 minutes. Hopefully, I lose track of time sometimes. If it goes a little longer, there will still be two additional episodes, but they'll all be, um, they'll all pretty much be probably roughly 15, oh, Overwatch is, it's the Overwatch quagmire. Yeah, keep going. You can do it. You can do it. Thank you. Um... Yeah, anyway, there will definitely be four episodes, even if they run a little bit over the normal time. Um, and that doesn't give you necessarily a huge cross-section, but we're, we're going to try to get through it. We're going to try to try to do 
the right thing and, and complete your sort of fan service wishes. So for the next episode, what I'm going to want are our recommendations because these are going to be once a week. So I'm going to have a little bit of time to record this. Um, and also a lot of you who are watching this right now, I'm zipping ahead so we get to the morning. A lot of you who are watching this right now are in fact regular viewers. And I have a question for you. I'm thinking I want to pare down on the series that I'm currently doing, but only temporarily because I want to finish Mega Asylum. There's a, a decent chance that I'll be able to complete that and, um, you know, pretty quickly. And then I want to complete Speakwell, which I've sort of been holding off on just because of the overall difficulty of filming it and finding what I need for the nature of the actual series. So what I would like to do is, because I, I feel like Speakwell will probably go no longer than seven episodes, what, I, I, yeah, what I'd like to do is have you all vote on which series, um, which series that I should temporarily drop. Do you want me to take a break on Brothel, which I know not all of you watch because of the, the nature of the series, or do you want me to take a break on Midnight Hollow, which I know a number of you also do not watch because, um, yeah, because of the fact that there were so many Midnight Hollow LPs, you got a little burnt out, which is understandable. So, yeah, pretty much that's, that's what I'm asking. I, I'm very much interested in knowing what you think on the matter. And you have about four days to give me notice before I'm going to record this again. I want to make sure that this is your fan service. This is your, like, you know, this is where your character mashups dreams come true. And I apologize for not sounding perkier. I'm excited to do this. I've, I'm having fun. Pent up. Oh, he needs to chew things. Well, chew your, chew your toy, you silly. Don't just sleep. Chew your toy. Okay, you're going to work on late homework, please. And Judy, you're going to feed the dog. When you get up, you're going to take a shower so you're not smelling crispy and nasty. I was going to say, who are you going to woohoo with? Go ahead. Speed it up. And we're going to, yeah, we're going to start redecorating this. I'm going to put in some body bug lighting. But I really prefer, even if, like, we recolor things... I'd really prefer to wait until they have about a thousand simoleons before I do that. It just doesn't feel right or realistic to me if I just let it... Yeah, if I just do it automatically. Alright, she's in the shower. And then I'm going to cue her up. Um, fishy science. Catch a fish and deliver it to the science facility. Well, that's that's perfectly fine. And Missy Miss here. Where was I going to send her? Okay, we're going to go to the library to check up on the job situation. You don't want to join the journalism career. It's not your dream. And yeah, what would you like to see from them? I'd prefer that it not be the immediate request for, um, for Ruby to get, no, to get pregnant. Uh, you know, obviously, if, if there's a pretty solid consensus, then I, it can be discussed. But I would genuinely prefer that that not be what we immediately jump to. That's what the Runaway Teen Challenge ends up uh, having as part of, um, of the series. And I just think that this is supposed to be something new. So we have to really take a look at... Um, what our options are. Okay. Why can't we join the singer career? Hmm. Okay, then we need to look. Definitely need to look for the karaoke place. I can't remember. I think they're the ones which look like um there's no proprietor at the venues, I think. We need one of the ones that looks like a tag. You know, I don't know if there's room to even put down. Let's go see. Let's take a peek. Let's go into Edit Town. Oh, nope. Not options. I suck. Okay. Let's go into Edit Town. 
just continue. Hopefully this is quick. Be quick. Thank you. We're gonna go to community lots. We're gonna sort by sort by stuff. No, not custom content. Actually messed that up. Where do I sort? New. Okay. Let's go to showtime. Showtime. Nope. Nope. I don't want custom content on me. Turn that off. Thank you. Showtime. 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 Um. There's the Hoi Polloi Center. We could conceivably put that down there. Let's put down the Mix Master Club. Okay. Watch, there will be no lots available. Oh, hot air balloon. It is an oddly shaped lot. Okay, let's take a look at what lot sizes we actually have open and available. That's one thing that I'm not super in love with uh, um, from Bridgeport. Because this place is just really, um, really densely, what is this? Oh, there it is, yay! So we can just go back to our game, return to games. Return to game, yay! Never save while you are in that mode. Oh, I bumped my boom mic. Uh, you should not, you should never save while you're in that mode. Because it's, um, like, if there's ever an is, uh, <laughs> if there's ever a situation where the game is is offering you to save and then quit, or save while you are coming back from edit town or going into edit town, don't do that. Always save as and rotate between at least three uh, three differently named save files and just keep rotating through them. And you don't want spaces when you make a uh, a file name. You definitely don't want spaces. So, oh, she's absent-minded. Okay, I guess if you want to buy food, you're going to feel sick. You're going to feel nasty. Um, get a taco. I love tacos. Go ahead, sit down. Eat your taco, and then we're going to go to the uh, karaoke place. Where is it? Yes, thank you. She was like, I'm so hungry. Mmm, greasy. Fast food may not be the healthiest choice, but it tastes so good. I can't deny that. I ate Taco Bell earlier. <sighs> it's so bad. It's so bad for me. Okay, load up. Means place to be for the entire party yourself. Okay, she's in there. Thank you. Oh god, why is it? Did someone just throw down their proprietor? Yeah, and yo, I need. I need for you to let me. Mm, I need for you to let me join the singer crew. Or I need to try to throw down one of the event centers. That's cool, I'll just wait. Why don't you dance? Build up some skills. Okay. I guess they didn't like her dancing because they shut her down pretty quickly. Okay, so she's had at home. Is your homework all set? Why don't you, little miss? She really, really, really wants to please, um, please Judy. And she also is feeling very lonely and really wants to meet someone around town that she can pal around with or have any degree of, of affection towards, you know, she's a teenager. Teenagers don't feel inclined to be single necessarily. Some of them do. Okay, where's the... Where's the proprietor? Enyo. May I say hi to you? Or are you just gonna continue sitting there and being a poo face? Oh, come on, Judy. You can do this. 
You can do this. You know, it's funny because whenever I have a sim look for a, uh, a profession, it almost always comes up as, um, yes, join the singer career. It almost always comes up as, or, uh, as singing first. So let's see. Uh, Judy or Ruby, excuse me. Judy and Ruby. Judy and Ruby. Judy and Ruby. Alright, he's she's going to do her homework at the library. Sleep scrutiny. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we're going to go with Elaine Croswell because I'm actually aiming to have her act have a normal name. Mm, Elaine. Mm. Tartine. Okay. Elaine Tartine. There we go. We're so cool. For now, you have nothing but a dream delivering singograms. So we've got a singogram to deliver, I think. Nope, we're good for now. Perform for tips as a singer. Oh, there's a little bling. Alright, so get gigs, deliver singograms. So we get calls for singograms. But I, what I want you to do is actually, no, we're not going to watch anybody. We're better than this. Singer. We're going to perform for tips. She's a virtuoso, so she's going to go up faster, but of course, not that fast. But this is a, it's a popular spot. It's a good place to record. Record, excuse me. I'm recording right now, so I'm in the mindset. All right, and then we're going to send, oh, poor girl, after Ruby is finished, it's not that late, we're going to send her to the uh, Bridgeport Acres Summer Fest. I'm not going to lie, the Bridgeport one kind of sucks. Now, puppy, what are you doing? Puppy sniffing around the bathroom. He can't bring the newspaper because nobody's here. Judy just sang her best, hoping others be impressed by her, her performance to drop a few simoleons. Go, please, 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 go pick that up. Actually, not pick it up. Go do stuff. Do stuff. Oh, I forgot that they wear these terrible outfits. And I know a number of you are probably going to be, uh, hopefully not annoyed by this, but I thought, you know, this is very different and I haven't done it yet. So, that's what's going on. That's what happened. <laughs> Alright, hurry up. Finish your homework, please. And I also kind of love that they will continue performing and all that until they're pretty much going to die. Which helps it. It helps very much in rising to the top. Of, oop, I bumped my mic again. Rising to the top of their careers. So I'm a little excited about that. And I'm going to save up for lifetime reward points so that we can do the things we need to do to increase her... Um, Yes, in order to increase her performing capability. And we're going to see what we can do. But obviously we want them to do things together. We want for Ruby and Judy to be able to go places like the sports bar or into the, um, into, into the fun clubs where you can go dancing and all of that. And we want them to get out and make friends and all of those things. So as I was saying, I would like for any of you to give me ideas as to what I should do. Um, aren't there any, like, aren't there any people here? Hmm. Okay, I guess there's, who's this? Who's this? Sugar Bijou. Yeah, go say hi to Sugar Bijou. And friendly introduction. And then buy food, please. 
sugar, bijou. Yeah, she's like, oh, I have to pee. I have to pee like, whoa. She wants to stay up past bedtime. She, I mean, her job, unless she has a gig, it's, it doesn't really matter. Ooh, hello. Oh, I always remember this guy's a dream. After you go to the bathroom, I want you to come here. Is he gonna perform? Okay. Um, friendly and singer. Perform singagram. Celebration. We're celebrating stuff. Oh no, people are gonna come tip me and I'm like walking away. They're like, oh that was great, I was just gonna hand you some money, but you stopped, so I'm not going to. Okay, go pee. Yeah, go. Go. It may seem small to you, but finishing his homework is a big deal to Lil Bling. His parents would like to celebrate the achievement with a singogram. So we'll end up going over there afterwards. We'll have to make friends with this dude and then leave. Ah, uh, who are we buying food for? We're buying food for Ruby. Why don't you get... What do we want? Get funnel cake, because funnel cake is the tits. Oh, they got attraction. Judy's been alone for a long time. And while there's not necessarily anything wrong with it, it's not what she wants, so. Oh, he's hungry. But I think, I think if he weren't, uh, you know, having his abdomen rended apart by hunger, that he would very much like, uh, yes, would very much like <laughs> to, yeah, stuff. He would very much like to chat it up. Oh, did she already complete her singogram? I think she must have. Where are you? Oh, come talk to him. Okay, let's slow this down though. I get, I get a little bit behind. Um, friendly. Ask about career. Friendly. No. Um, chats. Friendly. It's like, would you, would you want her to, in fact, hook up with this guy? All of these things. All of these things. Anything you want. And like I said, it's it's cool with me. Um, you know, I want you all to be able to make suggestions. I'm just, I'm just asking you maybe for something a little bit different. If we could avoid doing the teenage pregnancy right, uh, right in this instance. <laughs> but I know it's popular. Look at her standing there all sour-faced. What's that, sourpuss? We got here first. Show a funny video. Now let's go romantic, ask sign, romantic. Ask, ask if he's single. You know, you're really supposed to be a little bit more subtle than that. Compliment his personality. We can keep that sort of in a safe zone. It's really too bad you can't just hand them off an apple or something. And he's sleeping. Little puppy is sleeping. Hopefully he'll find stones and we can play with him and take him for a walk. He wants to eat the food. He's going to greet her and then he needs to num 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 num. Actually, you know what? I think I don't think we have enough time to wait while he does his thing. So go ahead, use the toilet, and then take a shower, and then go to bed. I think you're gonna be okay. You have school in the morning. Now, puppy, he wants so badly to greet her. You will have um, you'll have Judy. Spend a little time with him when she gets home. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Judy Guidry learned that Mac, or excuse me, that Mick sit up is Aries. Those signs are compatible. He's single. Alright, but you know what? I I want you all to have a say in this stuff, so I we're gonna flirt. But I'm not going to hook up with him. We will not hook up. 
until you say whether or not we should. Because I think he's pretty attractive. I'd actually, I don't usually immediately go to, oh, I want to have a baby. But I am I would be very curious what their child would look like. He's got very nice bone structure. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Can we do flirtatious joke? Can we do anything romantic? <laughs> Ask to watch the stars. Go be cute. You want to sit out there on the filthy street, breathing in exhaust and just looking into each other's eyes. She's in bed. We're going to let puppy spend some time with his mama. I don't want you garden stuff though, baby. No, please. Okay, go. I really hate that I can't tell him to pee right away. If somebody were to mod in dog litter boxes, that would be hot. Because I, I um, back when I was really, really sick, like really sick, I very much wanted to teach Sid to use a potty chair because that's um that's something which would have helped honestly oh he's got to pee and eat and all that but they're having fun all right why don't you head home he can go pee and eat and all that stuff hopefully not at the same time yeah don't don't pee yourself that'll be embarrassing stay cool stay cool stay cool, stay cool. tighten up Okay, go to the bathroom. Yeah, go. Run. Go to a finish. Hmm. I did have a world I wanted to do this in. Called Westerberg. But what happened recently is that I used CC magic a while ago and immediately realized that I didn't really want to do that because if I had to remove something, I wanted to be able to remove it. Problem being that it seemed, um, you know, it seemed simplest at the time, but I stopped it and there were, there were only a few things in CC magic and I didn't really notice a difference overall anyway. So the other day I had this thing where um, yes the other day I had this thing where it kind of got all messed up and I had these I installed a, um, a pattern which conflicted with a bunch of stuff and I then I had to go into uh, Delphi's dash and remove a bunch of, of conflicting files and, and a couple corrupted ones and those were the ones from CC Magic, and it was really rather disappointing. So, and affection, have belly rubbed. Go on up. She loves you. She loves you the most. Oh. All right. So he's doing well. Let's get his social up a little bit more. Just because if you do that, then they tend to be a little, um, a little more, um, yeah, they, they tend to be able to, um, last a bit. I'm really, really, really sorry. I'm really sorry that I can't think. Yeah, you're hungry. Oh, did he pee? Okay, you need to reinforcement scold for being a piggy and peeing inside. No, don't smooch him. No, 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 no. Don't smooch. Aw, but she just picked up Sid Gidry. She'll never forget it. It's always awesome the first time you pick up your little puppy. Do not wee-wee. And now you gotta be nice to him. Let sniff hand, because we don't want him being a piggy. Affection. Talk to. Affection. Um, we're gonna take him for a walk tomorrow, I think. Um a war really quickly and then go ahead eat yourself some leftover waffles go on in here and use a toilet take a shower and um sleep and while she's 
in the process of doing all this. Uh, I think there are a few other things I wanted to go over. Oh, one thing, I am still going to be doing a review of the Mother Russia set, which was released on Thursday. Honestly, um, I did not, uh, I, like, I hate to admit this, I actually, because of all the equipment I bought and this money being tight, I was unable to purchase it, and I wasn't going to do a review, and then the awesome and wonderful and, and just perfect amazing friend i have uh in sim sugar x sim sugar she gifted it to me and like i, I couldn't be I couldn't be more grateful it has really helped but i haven't had a chance to do proper research because in the instances uh here i genuinely prefer to um yeah i genuinely prefer to just um Oh my god, yes. I want the reviews to be thorough, and I want them to be cul as culturally accurate and sensitive as possible. So that's that's something to take into mind. And uh, that's pretty much why. Why are you eating? No, don't eat two sets of waffles. I'm, I'll put those... No, no. I'll put those away for you. Um, so, basically, I just want to make sure that that is all accurate. We can't. We will fix that tomorrow. And aside from that, I just, um, SimGuru Copeland built that lot, so I'm installing that, and I'm excited because I won't have to build a lot, which is usually something that's very frustrating to me when I do these types of reviews. I know that sounds stupid. I mean, it's my job, but all the same. So, yes, I was gifted the lot. I will be doing the review. It's going to be a little belated, but I, nope, what do you, what are you, what are you doing? Oh, no. Okay, change outfit. Every day. Change. Change. <laughs> You're walking around naked in front of Ruby. It's probably not appropriate. Um, but, yeah, so, hopefully in the future, there are going to be things coming out and I really need to to be able to afford these things, so I'm hopefully being able. I'm, hopefully, I'll be able to work it out. Um, you know, you all help very, very much. It uh, it gets rough around the time of year when when everybody's back to school because um, I don't know if you know this. It's we get uh, we get paid less for um, let's see free vacation. Nope, we're not going to do that. We get paid less for, for mobile views. Well, we don't get paid less. We don't get paid at all for mobile views. So it makes it a little bit rough. But this isn't like a, a guilt thing or anything. If that's how you have to watch the show or the stuff or anything like that. But if you're wondering why your favorite YouTubers uh, tend not to have as much money sometimes, it's because of the, uh, it's unfortunately because of the mobile views. But um, yeah, I don't know. I might, hopefully I didn't get myself in trouble there. I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to say that but it's it's fact um so yeah that's something oh she changed into her comfy clothes and then career you have stuff you gotta do you gotta go deliver singograms and do awesome stuff and i want you to meet new friends and i think that this is gonna actually be the end of the episode it must be at least half an hour so when we pick up next time ruby or excuse me judy's gonna go on a singogram we're going to clean up this lot, make it a little more colorful, and hopefully just be able to get out there and meet some new people. Hopefully, uh, I thought there'd be like a boy next door thing over there, but there isn't. So we'll send Ruby out, see if she can make some new friends, maybe through school. And if you want Judy to sort of hook up with that guy, even like if you want it to be a traditional romance where they're not automatically getting, you know, getting busy with each other. But let me know. Let me know. I don't think there's anything else I wanted to point out. So, oh, 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 one last thing. Once, once I'm able to afford it, I will get to doing a, another sweepstakes. I did one so far back when I had 8,000 subs. Now I have, um, I have like 16,200 and something and I couldn't be more grateful and I want to give back. So I'm definitely going to be doing that. Uh, so just look forward to it. And that's pretty much it. That's officially it. That's it. That's it. That, that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're all amazing. I just wish I could put you all in a hug and snuggle you. Um, I mean that genuinely. 
And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for your patience with my being confused and this being a little bit late, but I think it's going to be fun. And depending on how it goes, maybe after after the household is all set, we can translate any of these and into a later series. We can we can maybe vote at the end of each uh, each set of like four households who we would want to put together to consider for a later series. So there we go. Thank you very much. And I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye.